What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another session tutorial video. Today we're going to be going over how to film long lens in the 4.3 camera William Strobeck style. Or Will Strobeck type B or whatever. Um, yeah. Um, I've been doing this style of filming recently in the last few edits and, and Summer Break has been pretty popular. It's gotten over 1k views so shout out you guys who's been watching and checking it out. Um, but before we get into how to do all this, real quick, if you haven't already, or if you're new to the channel, please definitely consider liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel, as it's the best way to support the channel, and as always, click that notification bell so that way when I upload any new content to the channel, you'll be notified immediately. Alright, so, real quick, let's go ahead and get into business. So, I already got a clip for us to work on, got a nice little, uh, kickflip front board here. Very nice, very simple. So let's go ahead and you know get into action. Let's go ahead and set down our clip start point, which is gonna be right about here. So hitting holding down the right bumper or R1 if you're using the PlayStation controller, and then click down on your left thumbstick. Boom. You got it set up. So be sure to click also montage view on by hitting left bumper or L1. And now let's go ahead, go into our camera menu, camera lens. Let's select the 4.3. Boom. Now, quick little thing to note. Um, I always do this every single time I make a clip in 4.3. Unclick montage view and then click it back on just to make, because sometimes the camera will bug and like be super close or still like kind of zoomed in close for some reason, but just do that anyways, you know, just, just to be sure. Be best be safe than sorry. All right, always make sure you're selected on free camera to select your camera. Just press X, I believe it's square on the PlayStation controller. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, please. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So for filming, you know, 4.3 Strobeck style, you kind of want to be like, you know, at a de decent angle, decent distance, because you want to be zoomed in really close, right? So. What I like to do is I like to set myself up relative to the height of the skater on the board, per se, right? So we're gonna be about right here. So first thing you do is you set down, just for now, a keyframe on your, cam on your camera. So to do that, real quick, as a quick refresher, you hold down the right bumper, or R1, and then you press down on your, on your, um, on your directional pad. Just make sure the keyframe is selected to camera, so let's cycle through your uh, type of keyframes, use the left and right D-pad. So we set our first point down, we cycle through to go over to FOV, and then we set our first marker. First thing you do is set the first one to about 10. At least that's what I always do. And then depth of field, always set it as about to 1,000 as a base. And then you can fluctuate as you go along. So we go ahead Rub through the filming of the film again a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we gotta be back a bit, back a ways. Why do? Why, why does my skater look so furious right there? Just like fuck this goddamn trick. <laughs> so, just to make this camera flow make sense, we're gonna set our first point up to the top of right here. So that way, as it moves in it looks pretty smooth. So then at the same time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom camera in to about six and then mess with our depth of field and we'll push all the way up to 2K for now. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna now go over back to our camera keyframe. And right about here is when we're gonna set our next one, which is gonna be more so focused on the board itself. Go ahead with seven for now. And go down 500 on your depth of field. Let's see how we are from here. Yeah, that works. And right. At that first point of contact on the rail is where you want your next key point to be. So that way, right in between these two key points, 
you move your camera up so that way it follows the board basically right so for this with with this style of filming the idea is to keep the board as sent as center and the frame as possible so like right here you see how it's we're losing that center point we gotta go back up here and make a marker there so then right here we go back to field of view bring it out to 10 for now flip the camera up go back to camera and make that point there and then go into our depth of field and bring that down to about 900 using our triggers or l2 and r2 we're going to be slowly just scrubbing through the film to make sure the board is centered just like that then we're going to take our camera to right about here Zoom out by 10. Bring this down to about 500. Uh, let's go down to 450. And again, it's all about just keeping the board as center into the as center into the frame as possible. We're gonna kind of follow through with it. What I always do in when you're making like midpoint for your depth of field is I bring it back to one and then bring it up to where it needs to be. And as far as like the camera panning and everything, just make it, you know, as smooth as possible, basically. the same method to make your start point you make your end point or your clip end point and then let's cycle through and add one last thing is camera shake camera shake you want it to be tasteful you don't want it to be crazy because remember the, for this type of clip someone's standing still so you want to give it a little bit of shake so the sweet spot's about about six seven so let's go with six and then check out the clip Yeah, looks pretty sick. And then if we were to switch it over to daytime, right? Let's see, let's go over to time of day. Let's shift it to about seven. Oh yeah, see, perfect. And boom, that's how that's how we do it. And just make sure, you know, as always, when you finish, just go back to your default camera, whatever camera preference it is that you use. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, 
Let me know if you guys have any questions or further comments or any additional tips down below. Um, let me know what other filming tutorials you want to see. So yeah, that's pretty much it there. Um, if you guys have any further questions, comments, or any tips, just leave them down in the comments below. And you know, it's not going to be super easy right away. It's going to take some practice and like a little bit of work to it, but keep at it and keep working at it. You can't get clips like this. But on that note, that's going to be it for us for now. Thanks again, everybody who tuned in and watched this little tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comments down below or anybody have any tips, um, you know, feel free to drop them down. But with that being said, um, appreciate everybody who watched. Um, as always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and notification bell as always. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.